Are they doing construction? Yep, some leg up. Hey guys, Foxy here, and I thought I would take you in a day in the life. Mm, just kidding. <laughs> hey guys! I see here's your coffee. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think Hunter is trying to like win Husband of the Year award in a matter of just like a week. He's just ago. pulled out Five all the ago. stops. Anyways, oh you guys can see I'm starting a florist now. I'm just kidding. This is all the flowers people sent me on my birthday. I have a ton of balloons here. It was my birthday last week and I had an amazing, amazing birthday and I just felt so loved and I felt so grateful and in a time in 2020, it just felt so amazing. I don't know, I still felt the love, the balloons, the thoughtfulness, the caring, all the cakes. I got like two cakes, three cakes and like cookies and candy and so much great stuff. I'm forever grateful and like super thankful, so thank you. And this week is our anniversary, four years and Hunter told me this morning, I was, I'm in sweats, just like taking the dog out, ready to cook breakfast, get on with my day, and he surprised me with an anniversary little date. So that's exciting, and so I did some of my makeup, I gotta go finish it. We had to take our COVID test this morning, so that we just finished doing. Hunter's eating live cereal because I didn't have time to cook him breakfast. Having my first coffee because you can't eat or drink 30 minutes before the COVID test. So we took the fox out, we took our COVID test, now I'm getting ready. Are they doing construction? Yep, some leg up. No! We are headed out today, so I thought I'd take you guys along with me. Hunter has granted y'all access to our very romantic date today to celebrate our four year wedding anniversary. Hunter, this is so thoughtful of you and so sweet. Where did the inspiration come from? Well, obviously, I wanted to do something, and I know times are tough. And so I had some help from some fairies. Some planning fairies? Some planning fairies. I like planning fairies. And I thought it was a wonderful idea, and so we pulled the trigger. I love it. Thank you, planning fairies. The planning fairies, Pinky Pal Mal, <laughs> have good ideas. Always, you always got to have some good planning fairies, especially as a guy. Yeah. Because the planning fairies know. It's true. Well, way to go, planning fairies. And way to go, Hunter. You made my birthday so special, too. Really, really special. Well, you make every day special, so. He is just trying to go for the gold in the husband of the year award. No, 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 no. She really is amazing to me all the time. <laughs> As he eats cold cereal. Like, that's like, and the fact that you think that it's bad that I'm having to eat cold cereal is another reason why you're so awesome. That's not bad, that's normal. <laughs> Trying to get the coffee down. We're gonna drop Foxy off at my friend Ashley Grimm's house. She's gonna watch her for me while Hunter and I do this. But we are exchanging gifts on our actual anniversary. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our actual anniversary falls on Thanksgiving this year. So, anyway, all right, I'm gonna get finished getting, I'm gonna go finish. Can't talk today. I know, Fox. I don't like the hammer Fox either. Doesn't like the hammer. Fox. Come here. Come here. Come say hi to everyone. Tell them about your dog park experience. I took her to the dog park yesterday, me and Hunter did. I'm never taking her to a dog park again. She got bullied. We're playing fetch with her, and she's running and she's happy. All of a sudden, another dog comes bolting in and full speed just pummels her. She just gets absolutely eats dirt, like <laughs> the worst football hit you could ever see. And she You're had like, like picking grass out of she her had hair. Like her, she had like her tail up and immediately her tail went down and she never chased the ball again. I know. No more running. No more running. What are they doing? Is it gonna be forever? I just needed a big space to work on her recall because I think recall is super important. You know, just in case she's ever in danger, I need to call her back. I mean, I don't go off leash for whatever reason. I just want her recall game to be strong. So we were just trying to work on that. Like Hunter and I would go to different sides of the park and just call her to make sure she would come. And she loved it. She would come sprinting towards us. She had this big smile on her face, her ears flopping in the wind. It was awesome, right? Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, I'm never bringing her to the dog park again. We'll just have to figure out another way to do recall. 
It's just scary. I mean, it's nothing against the other dog owners. It's just, it's just wild, wild west out there. It is the wild, wild west. And I work really hard with Fox to make sure I walk her like every day. And I work with her mentally. So when I do go to the dog park, I'm not like, I'm not bringing up a charged up dog. So the dog parks in addition to exercise and mental stimulation, like physical and mental work. So, cause also like, I had like giant dogs jumping on me and it's like, I'm not a perfect dog owner by any means. I make a lot of mistakes. Foxy constantly has diarrhea. I can't get her food situation like locked in. She has such a sensitive tummy. So like she's constantly going back on chicken and rice. Right now she's on chicken and rice and chicken broth because she got a turkey tendon from someone and she got diarrhea again. So, <laughs> but I will say it is important that like, I also think we need to probably find a dog park that is like just for little dogs so then she can feel more confident there. And I also just like don't want her to learn the aggression because I think that's for us and the way we want to raise Foxy is not really what we want her to learn. Yeah, but yeah, I also wanted to mention that like we got Foxy from Steve Pack Leader Dogs and he has a YouTube channel as well. You guys check it out and he's always on Instagram. His Instagram content is amazing about dog training. They're just like amazing what they can do with dogs, how they re rehabilitate them, what he's done for Foxy. So I learned everything I know from him and I reach out to him all the time, especially because we had Foxy for like the first four months of her life or something. So like, and like trained her, tra like she's a really great dog because of him. And if anything, like if she misbehaves, it's my fault, not Foxy's fault or C's fault. Like, I take full responsibility. I also want to give him some social love because he is such a great dog trainer and dog psychologist. And he's so, if you guys have any questions, just tell him like Lexi sent you. If you leave comments on his photos, he'll answer you. He's really great about it. And he just wants to help dogs. It's so cool. So one day I hope to visit his Maddie's Ranch in New Jersey. But until then, I'll just admire from afar. But yeah, so that was kind of our experience with the dog park yesterday. And I probably won't be going anytime soon. Unless we went super early where it was like just a few of us. That being said, I gotta finish getting ready. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Sorry to go on that long ass rant, but it was just a scary moment at the dog park. Okay, I'll see you at the surprise. All right guys, look at what Hunter planned. This is so cool. I love it. He got I everything. Get to make s'mores, light candles, and do art. <laughs> That's it, s'mores, light candles, do art. Well, we have some snacks. Look how beautiful this is though. Oh my gosh, this is like the most perfect day ever. There's the city, so gorgeous. Pax picnics, helped Hunter with this. That's so nice, there's a ton of games. Jenga, Buzz, Uno, I love Uno. And then she set up like a little arts and crafts things. I love crafts. You guys are, Hunter, you're so thoughtful. So, thought you nailed it. Me and the fairies. You and the fairies, you guys nailed it. We get to paint these like little glass things. How, like what a great way to like commemorate our fourth wedding anniversary. And we get to make s'mores. I love s'mores. Guys, look at this. So gorgeous. Hunter's trying to light the candles. This is just so, so cool. And like, what a great way. It's outside, we can take our masks off. It's just us two. There's literally no one else around. Look at this. Hunter, you nailed it. I'm like so excited. This is so awesome. Thank you. I don't know if I can light any of the candles. It's too late. So windy. <gasps> They're seals. There's and their seals. Wow, what a perfect day. This is amazing. I'm so excited. All right, guys, we're gonna enjoy our day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're in the elevator. Got back from the wonderful picnic, which means elevator dance, elevator dance. Oh, be cool, be cool. Only two people to a elevator. Elevator. But Hunter and I had a great and oops, great anniversary party, dinner. We only dance. had Topo Chico. We haven't even had a we drink. Had <laughs> We're just, drink. We We're opened, just high on uh, nature. Yes. We opened up our anniversary gifts. This is what I got us. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A booster pack from 1993. Hopefully he opens up a Black Lotus. That will make it worth it. I don't know it. if I'm ever gonna open it. I'm just gonna. What? We have to open it. I don't know, I love it so much. 
<laughs> the pack in and of itself. He says that that pack is gonna go right next to his World Series ring. <laughs> That's how good the pack is. I did good, guys. I did good. Yes. Ooh, let me turn on some lights here. I got some work that I haven't been moving and grooving. Go move and groove. We're gonna chill and relax. <laughs> well, anyways. Your gift is in here pretty. I'm wearing my gift. Got me this beautiful necklace, guys. All right. So, honey's gonna get ready for a stream. I've got some work to do. I've got laundry to do. I've got some cleaning to do. Got some like wifely duties to do. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of our special anniversary day. It was so wonderful. A big thank you to Pack Picnics. That was so so great. Big thank you to Hunter and the Planning Fairies and everyone who was involved in making today special. Um, you did good, Hunter. That was like hitting a grand salami, a walk-off grand salami. He did really, really good. I feel so loved. Such a great way to just celebrate our anniversary. We didn't end up finishing the vases, so they were still wet, so I'm not even gonna show them because we had to put them in a bag, and they kind of like hit together and the paint's all over the place, so I'm just gonna repaint them. <laughs> With that being said, you guys, thank you guys for watching this video. It's our four year anniversary, but we've been together for six years, and just keeps getting more and more special with Hunter, so I'm one really lucky girl. He's the absolute best. I couldn't be more grateful to have someone like him to be by my side, my best friend, my soulmate, my lover, as corny as that all sounds so he really is and I just feel like I'm the luckiest girl in the world until next time you guys thanks for watching this video stay tuned we've got a lot of fun videos coming up I love you guys I'll see you in the chat bye <laughs>